Hi, I'm Shiva Rajagopal. For my EC5760 project, I made a device that can take in an incoming NTSC TV signal and output the primary color, the dominant color, I guess, of every TV frame in real time. So what we can see here is to simulate an input, we've got a little camera right here, and we've got a little video of Big Buck Bunny here on the screen. And over here we have the Terrasic DE2115 FPGA Cyclone 4 Altera connected to an RGB LED using the general purpose IOs. And just so that we can see what the camera is seeing and the kind of colors it's seeing, we've got a VGA monitor right here. Okay, and I'm gonna move this just a little bit over here like that. So All right. The... So basically, on the DE2115 has a TV decoder, and on every clock cycle, we're pumping in one pixel at a time. And so, using the VGA sync signals, we can know when every frame is coming in, find its dominant color, and then output it to this RGB LED using a number of fixed banks just to minimize computation time. And, and by dominant color, you don't necessarily mean the average of the pixels, but rather what a, what a human would report as the color of the frame. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So just for an example here, we're going to point the camera. So let's just take a look at this frame in general. So what you can see is with this frame, we're seeing the dominant color as a greenish blue. And that's taking into account some of the qualities of the camera as well. In order to keep the white balance, we're seeing a little bit more blue and green than red. And in order to compensate for that, we have the switches operating here to either apply gain or a little bit of reduction to each color. So for example, the white balance here will crank up the green and blue a little and get rid of some of the red. So we put gain on the red and re decrease the green a little bit. And now, if we zoom in on this frame and point at this purple butterfly, we can see the color has changed to more purple than the entire frame. And then, as we play the video, we can see that it is actually updating in real time, and that little changes on the screen are causing changes on the LED as we go along. And this is kind of an evil video, but it does the job. And so the use of this might be to provide an ambient light behind the television mm -hmm. or to be a fake television for, for an unoccupied house, for instance. Yeah, as a theft deterrent. Mm -hmm. And so while one RGB LED might not do the whole job of filling a room with color, um, connecting this to, say, a matrix of LEDs would still be a lower power solution than actually just having a TV on for a few hours a day in the house. Sure. So, yeah. And it's only running on 6 volts, and it looks like the LEDs are running at 60 milliamps. So I'm going to try and get the... Yeah, let's see if I can get both the image and the LEDs pretty brightly in there. Okay, so now I'm going to just insert my hand into here, and the color changes. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.